Yo, alright, so this is how to get your light burn all hooked up correctly with your D1. So, this does make a few assumptions, um, such as you have updated your firmware to the absolute positive latest and greatest. Um, and this will walk you through getting it set up the right the first time. If you went through and you screwed some stuff up um, because you didn't follow the instructions from Xtool, this will be the quick way to get that fixed up. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you go to the Xtool site. And you go to the user manual for the X tool, uh, D1 Lightburn software. Um, it will walk you through uh, the firmware. But like I said, we're going to assume you actually already did that, um, which you may not have. Um, and then we get right here, the obtain and install Lightburn. This right here. If you did not get that file and you did not use it, then it's no wonder that your D1 is acting like a freak when it's in Lightburn. So you go ahead and you download that file. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick it in here just to make sure. Bah, 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 bah. I'm going to put it here in laser and save. All right. So that'll make our all our stuff happy hunky-dory. Now on the light burn side, uh, um, we'll, we'll check that out next. Just a note, um, this help will actually go through and tell you everything you need to do, including how to use the rotary properly and so on and so forth. So make sure you bookmark it and keep it. Anyhow, over on the light burn side, uh, you can see, oh, I have a D1, and it says it's ready, and it's hooked here, but we know it's wrong, um, because it doesn't work right. So we go to Devices, we select our Xtool D1, and then we remove it, um, so it's gone. Gone, zero, zilch, nada. You won't have all this other stuff, these are just um, other units that I have. Um, you want to go for the Xtool D1. Next is we click Import, and we will go to Laser. And we will say X tool. Where is that handy dandy little the X tool D1 LB dev? Click it. Say open. Bam! Look at that. X tool D1's right there. If you have more than one machine, to make a default. Say okay. So that one is all set. Now, is it really set? So if we go in here and we go to device settings, we look. Hey, check that out. We have these settings here. Um, the uh, enable offset is, is enabled. Um, our origin is properly set. Now, mind you, with this label, with this, unless you're using crosshair, turn it off. Uh, um, that's, all, that's all it's for. If you're using the laser to actually do all of your um, framing, um, that offset will um, throw you off rather than the rest of it. Uh, the other one I want to come in here is the white space, uh, fast white space scan. Um, this should be set equal to your layer level. So if you're doing multiple layers at, at different speeds, well, obviously it's going to screw things up. Um, if they don't match, you have one layer and you're going to run it, say, 6,000 millimeters a uh, second, or sorry, a minute, and, and this is set to 4,000, it's going to screw things up. So unless you're going, actually going to remember to come in here and change this all the time, um, turn it off. Um, and realistically, you, if you're using PNGs or JPEGs or whatnot that have no real graphics or any gradients to them, um, convert it to an SVG. Uh, it'll automatically skip the white space for you. Done. Um, so that, if, you don't, if you've gone in and you don't have this or the origin's in the wrong place or some other things, you know there's some problem and you need to start over from some scratch. So hope this helps and hope you have a good one.